Hi, I'm Laura Coleman. Welcome to this month's edition of the Pink House Cooking Kitchen. Today I have with me Sarah Forgash. She is a breast cancer survivor and restaurateur. And I'm working with Sarah for the last few months, right? On personal training and getting her back into a lifestyle of fitness. So I thought it would be fun to have her as our guest chef. So I'm going to give it to Sarah. She's going to tell herself, tell you guys a little bit about herself. She's got a delicious menu plan. So let's get cooking. Thank Sarah, take it me. away. Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Sarah Forgash. I've been in the restaurant industry for over 25 years. Um, right now, currently, my husband, Everett, Emery, and myself, we have a restaurant. It's called Quinn City Bites and Crafts. It is located in the third ward in Uptown Charlotte. So check it out if you can. The recipe that we're making today is going to be a chili that we serve at the restaurant. So vegetarian chili is delicious. It has quinoa. It's going to uh, be nice and hearty. It goes great also over nachos. So there's a couple of variations you can make out of this chili. And going with it, we're going to have some sweet potato jalapeno poppers. So we're going to get started. All right. So we're going to start with the sweet potato jalapeno poppers. Uh, we're going to start with some sweet potatoes, a pound of sweet potatoes. They're going to be cooked and drained, and then you're going to go ahead and cool them off. Then we're going to have some unsweetened uh, blend milk, yeast, uh, vinegar, and turmeric. Uh, then we're just going to have salt and pepper. That's all the ingredients that you need. We're going to have the oven preheated at 400 degrees. Then we'll get started. All right, we'll get these right in here. So we're gonna put the potatoes, the sweet potatoes that have been already cooled. If I know how to work this. <laughs> and, and then we're going to start in a saucepan. We're going to incorporate a little bit of quarter cup of almond milk. The nutritional yeast is going to be half a cup. Vinegar, we're going to do two tablespoons. Is that just regular vinegar? This is going to be uh, white wine vinegar. You can use any neutral vinegar. What do you mean by neutral? Uh, something that, like red wine vinegar, um, balsamic vinegars, we're going to have a little bit more body to them, a little bit more bite to them. So you want something that's a little bit more neutral. So it blends in the flavors. And we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of turmeric. All right. Then you can do salt and pepper to taste. I try to cook without any salt. I have uh, family members with high blood pressure. So I tried to compensate sometimes by giving a, just a little bit more spices to all of my, my uh, meals. Um, just using a little bit more of the peppers, um, cumin, turmeric, that's what I try to do. And that works out great. What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead, bring it to a boil. And wait for it to thicken. Make sure that everything's well incorporated.
And we're gonna just add it all to the blender. From here, uh -oh. Uh, this one, no, this one, All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open just because we have some hot liquids here. You always have to have your blender open if you have. Hug liquids and All right, have everything incorporated. Now all we have to do now is, I have a couple of peppers already started. We just go ahead and have some jalapenos. And we just cut all the veins and seeds. Make sure if you like them spicy, you can leave some of them out in there. So Tammy asked if it's too spicy, what do you do? If it's too spicy, mm -hmm. the jalapenos, you can roast the jalapenos ahead of time also. That will mellow out the jalapeno. So there won't be as crunchy, won't have as much bite to them. Uh, you can just uh, roast them in a high heat for about probably eight to 10 minutes. You can also do other peppers. They are not spicy peppers. Poblano peppers are great. They have a little bit more of a smokier taste, but not spicy. Or you can just do also sweet peppers. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite all right. We were professional and then they got warm <laughs> And what we started to do now is just going to start stuffing the peppers with our mixture. Laura, for some reason, the pictures turn sideways. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why it's turned sideways, but I'll just hold it like this now. That's so weird. All right. This mixture, if you like it even creamier, you can add yogurt to it. 
a mascarpone cheese. Yeah. Let's do that. Right? So Sarah, I always have to ask, what, uh, what wine would you serve with these appetizers? Ooh, this is something spicy. So with beer. The, yeah, you can definitely do beers. It would go well with it. Um, with wine, I would like to do something probably sweeter. So you can just probably do like a, a, a Sauvignon Blanc. You can also do a Riesling. I'll get Verstraminer as well. You can do those with it. And it's just gonna help brighten your palate. Do you have to be able to say Verstraminer? <laughs> you can just point at it. <laughs> If you like spicy also, you can do this with celery if you want it and not bake it. But you can just use it as a dip. Mm -hmm. you can have, you can add tahini to it and make it a hummus salsa with a little bit of chickpeas. All right, so all ready to go. So now we're just gonna put them in the oven for 30 minutes. All right. There's your timer here. <laughs> All right. All right. Start time. Oh. Okay, 30 minutes, please. All right, and that is all ready to go. So that's gonna be your little side item for the vegetarian chili. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some prep for the chili. We're gonna start with cutting our vegetables. Usually in chili, there's a lot of chopping involved and there's a lot of fine chopping. For this chili, we want the vegetables to be kind of the, the star of the show. So we're not gonna fine dice it. We're gonna do a, a thicker dice. So the way you can taste them is you can taste peppers. You can taste the poblanos. And that's what's gonna make it really nice and yummy. You start with the pepper. And all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and quarter it. And then just do some white about one inch dice. Now I usually have my husband do all this. I'm not used to doing all this.
Okay, same thing with the pepper. Doesn't have to be, it could be any bell pepper of your choice. Whatever looks good or whatever's on sale in the store. I know, beautiful. Yes, you can use the fire roasted tomatoes. So we have right now we have regular diced tomatoes. Yes. But you're saying that we could use fire roasted tomatoes if we wanted to? Yes, you can definitely use fire roasted tomatoes. That's going to give you that smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. This is a very versatile um, recipe. You can add anything that you want into it. Um, What's going to give it the body of it is going to be definitely the beans and the quinoa. Same, same thing with the quinoa. You can do rainbow quinoa, you can do red quinoa, white quinoa, it doesn't matter. It will taste delicious. And again, you know, with the onion, we're going to go thick. I'm not sure we have nice chunky vegetables. <laughs> so when you're chopping the onion, uh -huh. Let's see if you're crying yet. <laughs> no, Let's no see. Crying no yet. tears coming <laughs> from her <laughs> eyes. Let me see. If we get closer, yeah. still no. no. So do you have any tips or tricks to avoid that? Or is it certain kind of onions that will cause you to tear up more than others? Or um, just super sensitive people? Yeah, no. Uh, very sharp knife. Oh. Very sharp knife is going to help you not cry. So I've heard like lighting a match or... What? Lighting a match. Oh, I've heard that too. Uh, to me, and also washing sometimes the onions, hmm. soaking them, that helps. But you never know what you're getting with onions. Hmm. All right. So we have all of our vegetables are chopped up and everything else for our prep is pretty much done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to our pot. Let's do um, medium high heat. We're just going to add about half a teaspoon of olive oil. We just need a, just a little bit in there. So that is just precisely a, a half a teaspoon right there, everybody. <laughs> there, we're going to add our vegetables. I'm going to start with the onion first. Why do you start with the onion first? Because it takes a little bit longer for them to get translucent. Even though you don't need that much cook time on them because the chili is like a stew, so everything is just going to keep on cooking anyways afterwards. Just want to get a little bit of Everybody's very quiet tonight. No comments, questions. Everybody's just salivating, waiting. Right. All right. I know Denise has something to say. Where'd she go? Go for a little bit. I don't have anything to say. I'm, I'm watching with rapt attention. Denise has nothing to say. 
It looks really yeah, she's good. On. She's talking to me. She says it looks really good. <laughs> she must be having a beverage. <laughs> Why, yes, I am. Uh, where's your face, Denise? You're not on the screen. I don't dare because I might I should, mess something. I should be on the screen. You're not on my screen. We I'm on Leslie's face. screen, I'm sure. Oh, there she is. Oh, and Adrian, too. Adrian's there. Diane. Okay, look, all these people we didn't know were here. There you go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is your unprofessional, yeah, your unprofessional videographer here. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. The aroma. Mm. Denise, Laura wants to know if you're in the basement again. If they put you in the basement again. Why, yes, I am. If you can see, there's a bunch of boxes behind me because they're getting ready to move. So the movers, the packers come on Tuesday. So everybody can hear this, but Laura, yes, she is in the basement. The they're getting ready to move, so the Packers come on Tuesday. The Green Bay Packers, or <laughs> not the Green Bay Packers? Uh -huh. Boy, you are you are just uh, you're funny tonight, there, Tam. Have you had a beverage too? There's more when that came from. <laughs> She's our comic relief for the evening. <laughs> well, this is I, this is a comedy I, show plus <laughs> cooking show. I've been with my mom for five straight days. So um, yes, we take a different perspective when we do that. Yep. And she's calling me right now. Now we throw in our peppers. Like it'll just not set them out for a little bit. Take over. All right. Now we're going to start adding quinoa. Tomatoes. Black beans. Yes, with the water. I like to use the water of the beans. I think it helps thicken the, the stews or soups. Some people don't like it, then you can rinse them out. Um, so just you want to rinse them out just for to take some of the sodium out, but you can do with rinsed or use the juice. Like I said, it just adds body to the to the meal. Do some kidney beans. A little bit of water or stock. You can use vegetarian stock. You can use chicken stock if you want to. Okay. Then I'm gonna add
chili powder. Just gonna add the flavor. Maybe three tablespoons. Okay. And <laughs> you like it? I love it. And I love to mix it also with coriander usually. Like every time I put some, I put cumin in something, I also put coriander in it too. All right. So we just mix everything up, bring it to a boil, and then after that, we just simmer it till the quinoa is cooked, which is about 30 minutes. So how much do the vegetables cook down? Because they look amazing right now. I'd like to just eat them. Just like that. <laughs> Well, you can always add, you know, you can do some vegetables and do the fine dice on them. If you want to start with like onion and carrots and, and celery, if you wanted to do that, and then just add like the bigger chunks later on, if you like it to be a little bit more, more crunch to the yeah. vegetables. I love my veg vegetables crunchy. Yeah. All right. Bring that to a boil and then a simmer. So you say add celery? You can add celery if you wanted to. Like I said, if you wanted to have your vegetables crunchy, mm -hmm. you can do onion, celery, carrots. If you want to, just like a little vegetables or to start. And then you can do your peppers afterwards and just throw them in later on. All right. So all we need is a lid. I think it's a plate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So again, we just bring it to a boil, and then after that, we just bring it down. All right, we can take a look to see how we're doing with our. Okay, moving along. Mm. 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. At the end? Yes. We finish up with that. We just, so we finish with chocolate and... We finish up with chocolate and a little bit of syrup, maple syrup. And that's going to give it like that bite at the end, a little bit of sweetness. And the chocolate's going to give it a little bit more body. So... Would anybody like to know how much that we're putting in there or what we do with any residual chocolate that's left over? <laughs> or, if you have any questions, or do you have any questions like more specific to cooking? Hello. Anybody else? Yes. Anybody? Hello? Wake up. So we're going to do one ounce of chocolate. One ounce. Yes. Okay. So that means two ounces are left for us? Yes. And what kind of chocolate is this? Again? Is this dark chocolate? It's a healthy, well, the filthy dark chocolate, chocolate yes, yeah, 72 percent cocoa. There we go. Yep, okay. it's in which. <laughs> Wait a minute, we have somebody cranking chocolate over here. Oh, she They're saved a good one for her. <laughs> I don't want almonds in our chili, right? Yeah, well, why not? I mean, why you could. Yeah. Well, that's the one thing about the toppings. You can do anything with the toppings. You can do yogurt, sour cream. Yogurt is a great substitute for sour cream. You'll never miss the sour cream part of it. It's a nice and creamy and delicious. Uh, <laughs> can do cheese. You can do avocados. Like if you want something with crunch. If you like something crunchy, you can definitely like, you know, just do some 
nuts if you want to some walnuts or some macadamia nuts on top. That's you can good. do jalapenos, onions if you want that on top. So many toppings. Again, this chili is fantastic um, over nachos. In a restaurant, we do vegetarian chili nachos. And because of the quinoa, you'll never miss the ground beef. So a traditional chili. What chip or would you use a tortilla or what would you use? To make well, we use a, a tortilla chip, but you can use anything that you knows crunchy. Um, we use the tortilla chips, you know, just add a little bit of cheese, a little bit of a, a amount, amount of uh, chili. Then after that, you can do whatever toppings you want. We do onions, uh, sour cream, jalapenos, and salsa. Right, that's all fun to go. Sounds right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty Anybody delicious. Can you get back? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's quiet. It's mm -hmm. quiet out there. It's quite over there. Okay, let's so, yeah, okay. reach, reach for anybody to respond. Yeah. It's lonely here. Talk to me. <laughs> Would you like to take it to the garden? Right. Thank you. So I hear there's less calories in pieces that are broken up like that. So <laughs> free. So free. <laughs> Tammy, come a little closer so we can hear you better. I am closer. It's in my ear. I don't know how much closer I can get. Oh. oh. You probably oh, let me get me. closer. Okay, Sarah and I are getting really close here. That is <laughs> much go. better. That's much better. <laughs> okay, but that means I have to get really intimate with Sarah, which <laughs> was not planned for tonight. But um, yes, yeah, so I was saying that calories, the calories in broken up chocolate like this are fewer than in the regular squares. So feel free to break it up abstractly if you'd like okay so all my jokes were lost they were like out there <laughs> <sighs> right. quick stir hey ladies i got kicked off uh because my internet was having some problems i'm back on and all i saw was the chocolate and i did have a question yes. um what like 70 percent dark yes and then how much of it one ounce how much i'm sorry one ounce one ounce oh thank you yes yes one ounce and again you can just taste it and if you want a little bit more body you want a little bit more of the chocolate flavor you can add a little bit more to it uh just like any stew or soup they're best the next day so you know, the next day is when you really taste the chocolate and the, the, the syrup. So if you like it also, you think you didn't put enough, you can also just do a little bit of shavings on the top. And once, you know, you reheat it, it'll melt. And it's going to add more flavor to it. So Sarah, how do you develop these recipes that you have? And how frequently do you turn over new recipes? How do you come by a recipe like this for your restaurant? Um, well, uh, is this something that, you know, we just thought, Vegetarian, we needed to have vegetarian options. Uh, so we made it a point to add some vegetarian options to the menu. So the, the key ingredient, I guess, was the quinoa. Um, you know, we were uptown, a lot of people have to go out for lunch. Some people, you know, the vegetarian, you go have your chili, which is beans and tomatoes, you're hungry in two hours. So, you know, we were thinking, okay, well, how can we make it hearty? So that's how we, you know, we, we came up with the quinoa, you know, just doing some research and just, you know, checking out some options, you know, try, try a few things. And that was, I think we just thought it was delicious. Um, we're known for our burgers, you know, we're more of a bites and crap. So, you know, a little bit more beer and, you know, just like appetizers and then big burgers. So we wanted the person that was going to get a vegetarian choice in our restaurant not to feel 
said they're not part of the group. So that's why we just thought that that just felt like ground beef. So when you have a vegetarian person, we say we strongly suggest get the vegetarian chili and then everybody will say, you know what, we're never going to get the traditional chili. We're just going to get a vegetarian because it's so delicious. Yeah. Yeah, we also we're starting to um, we started doing some things like the uh, barbecue quesadilla, the plant based um, barbecue. Yeah. That is delicious. Um, it's not beyond me. This one, it, it's like um, I think it's jackfruit. Yes, wow. yes. And then we put in a quesadilla with uh, barbecue sauce and uh, cheeses, and then we just put a little bit of a uh, ranch dressing and uh, jalapenos. And it's a great, you know, vegetarian choice. And how late are you open tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Till 10 o'clock the kitchen. Um, we do have a black bean burger also. We make those in-house. So very delicious. And we use that same patty also to make black bean quesadillas. Uh, again, we're just trying to have those options out there. And what um, kind of cheese do you use on your quesadillas? Uh, we, depends on which ones, but we do the cheddar or we do the Monterey Jack cheese. Uh, we don't have right now a vegetarian cheese option, but a vegan um, option, but we're looking to that. Vegan is just really, <laughs> vegan is just really tough with a kitchen, you know, just everything just has to be very strict and things need to be dedicated for that. And that's, you know, it just makes it a little bit tough for just a small, small kitchen. <laughs> And so how long have you been in the third door? Um, so the restaurant's been there for five and a half years, and we um, we took it over about three and a half years ago. Do you serve any French fries? We do. Nice and crispy. Four minutes for French fries? Four minutes. Oh, Laura's yes. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Thank you. And um, yeah, so we have French fries, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have excellent poutine. Uh, we also have chili cheese fries, and uh, you can also do those with a vegetarian chili. And uh, we also have the pimento fries. We make a pimento in house too. Just, we do. yeah. I do think this calls for calls for a field trip, road trip, right? Road trip. Left town, third word. Raise your hand if you're gay. <laughs> okay, it's an easy thing. At the end, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I have my thing on mute because I'm outside. That's why I'm, I couldn't get home on time. I am outside, but I couldn't get home on time, so I'm just taking notes. All right. Leslie, what do you think? I think I would love a road trip and I think the colors in the chili are beautiful. I love all the bright colors. You like those colors right there? These yes, I just think it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I know my son would love it. He's vegetarian. I mean, I need Ooh. to really, I, re I really need to make this for him when he comes home. Mm, smells so good. And we have how many minutes on the poppers? No minutes left? Getting ready. Some of us. No, not really yet. Sad that we have to be the guinea pigs on these things, right? I'm excited. <laughs> Do you like spicy? Not so much. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I, have, I have low tolerance for spice. I love spice. Laura loves spice, so we will let Laura be the spice girl. What about Laura? Is she a spice person? I'm about to ask her. I have her too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna taste it. Are we going on a tour? Are we gonna go check on Charmaine? Coconut milk and cinnamon. <laughs> Hey, Charmaine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, 
right, Charmaine? Yes. All right. And so here's our lovely parking lot of the pink house. Yes. And so now we will walk back. Here we go. Charmaine, do you have uh, a glass of wine or do we need to pour one for you? She's coming. Okay. We got her covered. So this is our commercial break of the pink house. Nope. Mm -hmm. Laura's enjoying this just relaxing. <laughs> 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 Where'd you learn your Spanish? I'm from Honduras. Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm from Honduras. So that's my first language. No in vino. Vino. Uh huh. Vino tinto vino blanco. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them a little bit longer. Yeah. So just to get a little bit more brown browning in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? So, Laura is suggesting that we throw the boiler on for a few minutes. So, we are trying to decipher this oven here. Start cooking. No. I have a quick question. Yes. If I'm going to add mascarpone or yogurt, you know, to switch up the uh, sweet potato uh, jalapenos, do oh. I add that just at the end, stir it in? I, like, yes, you know, so go ahead and make the mixture that we made and okay. just fold in the mascarpone or the yogurt if you wanted to. Just okay. fold it in. And just probably just a couple tables. We're not talking a lot. No, we're not talking a lot. We're right. just talking just a little bit. It's going to add a delicious body to it. Right. And okay. Denise? Yes. When would you be planning on doing that? When would I what? Be planning on doing that. Oh, well, any time that you were coming over. Great. I'm available Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and also taste your sweet potatoes. That's another important point. Uh, if your sweet potatoes are not sweet enough and you want that contrast of heat and sweet, you can add a little bit of brown sugar. You can add a little bit of uh, syrup to it. Also, you can add cinnamon, nutmeg, if you wanted to make it like a little more Christmas, you know, a little bit holiday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah, but just, yeah, but just, just taste uh, your sweet potatoes, just because we, we taste ours and they're, they could be a little bit sweeter. Mm. But the cons okay. And again, no salt in them, so. Yeah, if you roast them also, that's another thing, you can roast them, you can, you don't, you don't have to steam them or boil them. You can roast them if you do meal prep and you roast your sweet potatoes and then you put them in, you know, you, you, you do your meal prep, save one or two put them in a fridge and the next day, you know, you just go ahead and continue the recipe and that also will caramelize them. That's great. Great. Mm -hmm. tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's going to get. You can see the quinoa starting to pop. Don't you all wish you were here? Mm -hmm. Smell a vision. Smell a vision, yes. Hmm. So that's another thing uh, about having this the next day, it really thickens a lot. 
And what did you put in the sweet potatoes again? Uh, so I put the nutritional yeast, almond milk, white wine vinegar, turmeric, okay. and that was it. Did not add any salt to them, but you can do salt and a pepper to taste as well. It's very mild, but it's very powerful. Yes. Uh, the other thing that uh, Laura and I were just talking about is that also uh, coconut milk would go well with it too. Yeah. Is the nutritional yeast to give it a, you know, kind of a cheesy flavor, but also a thickener or no? What is the It is a thickener, flavor? yes. It is okay. going to be a thickener and it's going to uh, have great vitamins. It's a good uh, source of, uh, of vitamins as and, well. Right. So it's going to give you a little bit more nutritional value, right. but it, it, it thickens really quick. Once, you know, you, you mix it with the milk and the, and the vinegar and the turmeric, it just really just became, becomes like a little paste. Oh yeah. Oof. Uh, what's the best towel to use to I don't know, mittens? Yeah, I don't. I just don't want to use that. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Stop holders, yeah. Not here. There. Not there. Not there. Everything's just. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Pot holder. Here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yay. Okay, turn that off. All right. We have little tongs. All right. That's what Sarah plating. Some of the peppers, you know, popped up. Yeah, but, right. Being dirty. Yeah. Let's try dirty. this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Then just go ahead. Little sprinkle of syrup. Okay, see how she's doing that? She put her finger over the top of the, yeah. over the syrup and then she was able to sprinkle it that way. Oh, yeah. All right. Charmaine, are you coming to do the elders? In here. Oh, you want to get the last one? Pretty plates. 
How many time left? I'm not sure. At this point, I'm just going to taste the uh. Check. All right. I'm good right now. We're just going to wait five more minutes just to let the rest of quinoa get tender. And then we'll have that. So here we go. So do we just eat them with our fingers? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might be spicy. <laughs> mm. Really good. We both look at each other at the same time. Oh, listen, I will never think in a hundred years that this would be a combination. <laughs> And I love the sweet with the spice. Can I hear you? Mm -hmm. They're not spicy. Because mm -hmm. you, you took out, but you wouldn't do it with the seeds anyway, right? No, you took out the seeds. So but the people that enjoy the seeds, you can leave the seeds, but you also want to stuff them. Yeah. So you want to take out the, not just the seeds, but the veins, making sure you take the veins out. But they're not spicy at all. Yeah. Let's have a little bit. Mm, what? It has nutritional value. Ooh. What about putting some type of cheese, like cotija cheese? Mm. Yeah, you can do that. That's a great idea too. I don't taste any spice. You can well, just put it in <laughs> But you can you can definitely um, add the cotija cheese. Mm -hmm. Also. If you jalapeno, sometimes you know they're not too spicy when you go to the market. You can add a little bit of cayenne. Mm -hmm. But or how do you know chili. if they're too spicy or not? I mean, you don't know until you. No, you you, you don't. You know, if you just eat them, or if you just want to play it safe and do it with sweet peppers and just make the spice and control the spice on your on your filler, then you can do that. I would like to add a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Food. Yeah. And that's the reason why, because we, no, the sweet potatoes were like not, you know, so sweet, you know, so mm -hmm. therefore, you know, sometimes, you know, everything is different. So if they're not so sweet, you can add more sweetness to it. it I just got a piece of delicious. Because, because, because <laughs> just organic. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they can't. Oh. Hmm? Oh, they can't. Oh. Okay, the last bite that I just took is very picante. It's very spicy. And you probably got to the end. I did. Yes. So the end is spicy. Yes, because it's still going to have a little bit of the membrane. Oh, oh I didn't have that. Yeah. Well, taste the membrane and you'll be like. Mm -hmm. I could eat it just like that. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Absolutely. So is your husband from Honduras coming in? No. No, he is actually from New Jersey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's from New Jersey. Oh. So I thought you're from California. I know your your daughter moved to New York. No, really? What part? My dad's from New Jersey too. Uh, he was in Newark. Yes, Oh, okay. And then my my husband's from um. Uh, is it Pantan Lakes or Pantan Lakes? I think yes. Okay, but so I don't know New Jersey at all. But so tell me again, if I go to the store and I buy jalapenos, I don't know if I'm getting the spicy ones or not. No, no. So I would just devein everything because you don't like spicy. But I would like a little bit. My husband likes really likes spice. So I would yeah. like. I mean, the amount that I just got is fine for me because I'm yeah. not sweating bullets. Yes, I would just take everything out, and if you want to add a little bit more, you can add it to the filling. 
if you wanted a little okay. bit more of a bite. I, I think I would because it's very flavorful, but it's 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 roast them and they could be crunchy. <laughs> oh, like so, the pitas so, on yeah, top? <laughs> so then if I wanted it spicier just for him, I could put the, the seeds yeah, you can just leave out of mine seeds. and put it in his and he would mm -hmm. be happy and I would be happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm having another one. <laughs> Does anybody have any comments or questions or like, commiserations that they're not here and join us with us? Or? No. Well, these are recipes, like I said, that they're not like by the book and you must follow them. There, you can, there's so many variations in these recipes. Mm -hmm. Same thing with, like you said, cotija cheese. Do you want to put it on top of the, uh, the chili? Absolutely. Mm, I would like to put it on top of this. Yeah. So Cotija, is that the only cheese you would re recommend or would there be you can another do any, cheese? any cheese. Um, like smoked Gouda, I love smoked cheese. Mm -hmm. We just recommend, you know, for you to buy it and also for you to grate your own cheese. Um, that way you know what you're getting. Mm. No additives. Yummy. Yeah, we can do So that. add some add some nuts maybe to it or mm -hmm. you can add nuts to it. Yeah, pepitas. Those would be delicious. I had a hard time finding pepitas one time. All right. So this is this all right. Sarah, would you ask people if they're still out there? I just feel like you have to <laughs> is everybody out there? Did you Yes, we're still here. All right. Okay. We're just making sure. <laughs> yep. We're enjoying everything. All right. So you see how the quinoa now has sprouted? So by we sprouted, just, you mean open? Yes, up? opened up. We just did a half a cup and it's thickened up the chili. Would you want to maybe put more if you like to? Yes, if you, yes, you can do more. If you want really chunky, like almost like, like a meal, like a porridge, okay, so you I'm can do that. I'm getting close to Sarah so you guys can hear me better, yeah. but um, <laughs> the thing is that I don't know anything about cooking, so I have to ask all these questions. All right. My husband is so glad that I'm participating in these so he gets real meals. <laughs> all right, so now we just add so the chocolate. And we're going to add I am a natural chef. I did not go to culinary school. I did go to school for hospitality management. So I did have some courses that were a little bit more of a volume feeding. Uh, I like but I, I learned how to cook from my mother. She is a fantastic cook. All you have to tell her is either what protein or what, what you want or the style of food that you want. Wow. You know, you want Hungarian, you want German, you want Filipino. She will make it for you. And she, she is so thankful just because she said half the battle is knowing what to make. Wow. Once she has direction, she will. So how, how did she come by their talent? Is she, she uh, self-taught? No, self-taught. Really? Actually, when she got married, my dad had to do all the cooking because she didn't even know how to cook rice. Where is she from? Uh, my my dad is from Jersey. My mom is from Honduras. Hmm. Yeah, and. So how does she cross it across the ethnicity? So she can do German, Hungarian. She just yes. Just uh, just it. learning, yeah. Researches it. She she has in Honduras. Uh, well, she is my neighbor here. She lives in Charlotte now, and she is my neighbor. But in her house in Honduras, she has a two level kitchen, and one the second level, the lower level of the kitchen, it is like a library of all her books that she has. So she has all the shelves of all these books, and she's made you know like when you say Chinese food, you know like it has to be regional. She's making all like you know like just one you know mandarin so can i get her address here in charlotte yeah right <laughs> yeah yes she does and for this one let me try the let 
to make sure I did not add, you see how the, you can see how it's darkening now because of the chocolate. Before it was like more of a tomato hue. So now all the liquid from the beans and the chocolate has starting to melt. Again, I'm used to cooking with no salt. So for me, some of this is good, but for other people. Hmm. I just need a little salt. But a little salt is okay. Yes. Oh, thank you. I mean, is it really advisable to you? To use no salt as opposed to just a tiny bit? Or well, if, for the, for yeah. the yes. Uh, so I have a dad has a high blood pressure, so does my husband. So I cook with no salt. So what I would do is add a little bit more cumin, coriander in there, maybe a little bit more of a bite, you know, with the, the pepper. Um, but right now, if you just add as is, what you just need to do is just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And where is my... Uh, yeah. So the question is asked about the difference between the different types of salt, kosher, sea salt, iodized, and so we're asking the expert Sarah. What well, iodized salt is just going to be kind of fabricated salt. You know, that's just factory salt. Um, you can feel if you're accustomed to sea salt or Himalayan salt, you're gonna feel iodized salt, like cutting through your tongue, usually. Um, usually when you go to restaurants, sometimes you, you get that feeling like it's like, okay, it wasn't salty, but there was something there. So that's usually what- I'm gonna be a lot more cognizant about that because I'm never, you know, I can tell when there's too much salt mm -hmm. to my taste, but mm -hmm. I never knew the difference. Yeah. So, so yeah. Sometimes you have to add more, you're right. Sea salt has a, a little bit of a, a lighter flavor. So you have to sometimes use a little bit more. But it seems like sea salt would bring out the natural flavor. It does, it does, yeah. And the kosher salt is just, to me, better than just regular salt because, you know, sea salt, it, it is natural. Wait, so you prefer kosher salt or sea salt? No, no, I have sea salt and I like Himalayan salt also. And that's the one that comes in the big blocks and, you know, you just grind it pink it's really nice but also it's very delicate so you have to use a lot like if you're grinding and you want to get to a point you're like wow <laughs> but it's fine okay so i'm asking the audience i'm asking the audience and they sent this to you so um what types of salt do you use in your cooking or in your everyday life please respond so i'm not just standing here hmm. calling on you me? Yes, you. Okay. Um, well, we, my husband and I don't add salt. So, but um, occasionally if I do add salt, it's sea salt. Okay. Anybody do Himalayan salt, the pretty pink salt? Where it is? Over there? Charmaine, what kind of salt do you use? Himalayan, uh, Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink. Denise, sea salt. When I cook, I cook with sea salt or kosher salt. So you top with Himalayan? I've seen a lot, a lot of that too. Everybody else. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple more minutes and then we get to plate. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Right? That is a great name. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I said that it was a more of a beer place. We do have wine. We do have Prosecco on tap. <laughs> we do have Otherwise, bubbles. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. We got Prosecco, we got wine. Mm -hmm. See, what's the 
Hey, this is um, Anshu. Um, I actually have a question about the quinoa. Um, I don't like quinoa. Um, is there something else that I can put in there to yes. kind of get a little more that texture, like a meaty texture, but still say um, vegan you, slash vegan? Can you repeat her question just to make sure everybody? Yes, so the question is that she doesn't like uh, quinoa. Is there any other? kind of meaty substitute. So um, you can do several ones. I mean, you can do still, um, um, sorry, millet. Yeah, um, also you can do um, couscous. Yeah, well, well, you can do any grain, but you know, like couscous you can do. You want something small, you know, uh, you can also do rice with it if you wanted to do, you know, rice, but it's not going to be as meaty as um, the quinoa, but I, I think the, yeah, the couscous would do so well. With it. Yeah. What else? Yeah, millet. Bulgur, yes. Tar is a little bit thick. But it if all depends on what you thicker. like, though. But if you want it thicker, but you know, if you it's, it's gonna be chunkier. Okay. But Thank yeah, yes, yeah, so that's a good that question. question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tempe. Yeah. Yeah. Did you all hear her? Oh, I have to go over. Oh, okay. So Laura had some info, but we can't hear her, so we're back to the one in the pot. All right. So Sarah, maybe you can answer my question. What is Satan? I actually not 100% sure. I know it's a grain. Is that like satin? No. It's wheat. Sorry, avoid soy products. <laughs> All right. We'll go to plate. See how the vegetables still maintain their color. Mm -hmm. And that's why you want them to be a little bit thicker so they don't disappear. You want to taste them. Oh my gosh. And then. Do some cheese. Any toppings that you want on this? We're gonna do a little bit of cheese. A little bit of the yogurt. Okay. Yeah, that was that. This is also Spanish language lesson. <laughs> You want just a little bit of lime. 
Yeah. Or cilantro. You just go ahead and do that just with a little bit of color. But so many toppings. I mean, that the world's your oyster. <laughs>